I'm George Pearson, and these are just a few examples from some of the training videos I have here on YouTube. Now, when you're working with the training, following along the training, if you want to get the materials I used in the training, just go to the description down below and click on the link that's at the top of the description, and this will take you to a page where you can download the materials. Please subscribe, click the like button, and of course, always share on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the video. In this Photoshop Elements project, we're going to remove this person out of this picture. I have a real easy trick for that. And then we're going to improve the look of the picture, adjust the contrast levels, darken the sky down, a few things like that, to take what could be, if you, you know, take him out of here, basically a bad picture, and make it into a much more interesting picture. Okay, first thing we need to do, let me just get this out of the way, is we need to copy the background layer. I always make a copy of the background to give me a protection. So I'll just take this, drag it up onto the new layer button like that, and let's hide that background. Okay, there's my protection. Let's now also get this sized down a little bit. Hold the Alt key down here with the Zoom tool. And let's just get that down a bit so we can work on this in the our space to work with. There we are. Okay, now we need to get rid of this person out of this image, and that's fairly easy to do. And I can actually zoom back in again on him just for this one step. There we go. I'll grab the regular lasso tool right there and set for a new selection, anti-aliasing. No need to feather anything on this one. And I'll just draw a basic selection just a little ways outside. I'm not trying to be careful about this or anything, just kind of drawing just a basic selection just like that around that person. We're now going to let Photoshop Elements get rid of him for us using a great technique up here. And it's Edit Fill Selection. Let's take a look at our Fill Selection box. Here we go. There's a lot of things that this does. You can fill with a foreground color, which is right now black. Fill with a background color, which is right now white. Choose a color you want. Content aware. Fill with a pattern or fill with black or a 50% gray or white. We want content aware. What that does is it looks at what's around the picture and then fills this area with stuff from around the picture. It won't be, of course, an exact picture of what's in behind this person because we don't have that. It's going to be something that Photoshop makes up. But it does a great job of doing this. This is something actually which can be done in both Photoshop Elements and as I just mentioned there, Photoshop as well. They both have this same trick. Okay, just click on the OK. So make sure you're content aware. Click on OK. Let's have Photoshop Elements think about this for a moment. And boom, there it goes. He just disappears. Let's just deselect that now, and he's gone. There are a couple things to fix. It's a little bit light in here, a little bit low contrast. We're going to beef up the contrast there just to help match it in with the rest of the area, but it's not bad. So let's go over here and take this tool. This is the burn tool, and this allows you to increase exposure in an area. I have it set for a fairly small brush size and just kind of brush over the area you want to darken. It's going to be putting in more exposure in there. And you can do this just until it kind of blends in with the surrounding area. That looks pretty good. Let's just bring this down just a little bit in there. And that looks nice. Okay, over here right hand side we have his shadow. We need to get rid of that shadow. So let's grab the clone stamp tool and me bring up my brush size a bit here. On this picture, it looks like about a hundred or so. Somewhere around there is pretty good. Now to clone, hold the Alt key down, choose where you want to clone from and click. Let go of the Alt key and you can see right there it's actually going to copy that up into this area. Now this is real easy because of that patterning that we have. That kind of random stuff with this grass. Very hard to see exactly where that is so there we go up that's been taken care of and at this point we have a beautifully removed and cleaned out picture so there's our clean picture without anybody standing in it okay let's now see how we can improve this a couple of things I want to do I want to 
improve the contrast in here a little bit. I want to darken down, make the sky a bit more interesting. We'll do those in separate passes. And I think a little more contrast down here too. So we can work with this whole ground area as one step and work with the sky as a secondary step. So the first thing I want to do is to make a new copy of the background. Let's just drag this up here. There's our new copy again. Let's just rename these things. I'm going to call this one Phase 1. And this is going to be Sky. So I want to blend this layer into this layer using the blending modes up here to add more richness to our sky. But I want to use just the sky part, so I'll do that by masking out everything else. So I want to have a layer mask on this. Click on the layer mask button. There it is. Now notice that everything is still showing. That's because white shows. White shows, black hides. So we need a selection along here and then fill this area of the mask. Notice that I'm on the mask. See that light blue outline around that? So we're on the mask. And I want to fill that area with black. Let's just expand our picture a bit here and we'll zoom in one notch. It was a little more room to work with. And let's go back to our lasso tools. This time I want to use the magnetic lasso tool, which is right there. Click on that one. And then just take a little arrow and follow along right along the horizon line. And do a careful job. Try to stay as close as you can to that horizon line. Photoshop Elements is going to try to find that edge for you and snap to it. And you can be a little ways away, but if you're too far away, it's going to begin doing some weird stuff. So try to be as as careful as you can on this one. Take your time and go ahead and just let it find that edge for you. And then we'll just kind of come along like this. And there we go. Okay, that's the part we care about. Now down below, we, we're going to fix this. I'm just going to pull this straight across. It doesn't matter where that goes. And bring it back up to the beginning again. That gives me that as a selection. Alright, we now need to add more to our selection. I want to add this little bit over here, fix that. And I want to add in the bottom section down there. So let's just go to our regular lasso tool. And let's set this to add, which is right there. There we go, add to selection. And I'm just going to come in here and just kind of draw around the part that I want to add in, just like that. And that adds it in. Okay, this is now selected and again we're on this top layer we're on the mat and just squeeze that down a little bit there we go so we can see our tools color is black let's go to the paint bucket and so we click in here that fills that with black now you didn't see anything here because we're seeing this layer now if I hide that layer you can now see how the black is hiding the bottom part of the picture, leaving just the sky. Okay, we can deselect at this point, so select, deselect, and let's bring this background back in again. Now, let's go back over here, double click on left hand side, Just that's just a habit of mine, always go back to your picture away from your mat. And let's now use our blending modes. Now these blending modes allow us to do all kinds of stuff in here, some really bizarre things, do color burn like that kind of a weird spacey kind of a thing we can do lighter color soft light lots of stuff I'm going to use multiply and that's simply darkens it down so there's the regular and there's the multiply you see it's giving us a much stronger looking sky and there's a little bit of a darkness along the edge up here on that mat if I want to be really critical I can go up here onto the mat and kind of edge that up I'm not going to worry about that for this demo. Let me just show you one little piece of that so you can see how that would be done. And you can see there's just a little bit of an uh, edge on there. What you want to do is you want to take the dark part, the black part of your mat, up a little bit to cover that edge. So I would use the paintbrush tool. Let me just deselect that mat. There we go. Okay, brush tool right there. That's the one you want. Brush size is quite a bit too large. Let's just bring that brush size down a bit. I have a hard brush right now. And I'm on the mat again. You can see the light blue around there. 
and then just kind of paint up right up against that edge and I can then clean up the edge of that mat see down here everything is fine it's just a little bit up along the edge up there's kind of a soft edge and you can clean that up just by painting into it just a little bit don't be no, don't go too far on this or you'll end up inside the sky which is not what you want now, of course you may like that little bit of darkening up there you know again that's, that's a personal preference you have anything like this sometimes things that might be technically errors may actually come out adding something to your picture so don't be afraid to leave things a little bit imperfect sometimes because sometimes the imperfection actually adds to the overall look of your image. But there's the idea, I'm just cleaning up the edge of the mask by painting in here with black right on to that mask. Let me just soften it up right here, just kind of finish off there. Okay, let's back out a little bit. So that's the approach on the top edge. If you want to do fix any of the sky problem just paint on the white part with white to fix the sky you see we just kind of cleaned up that little bit of a dark edge in there okay it's back out a bit it's a bit too dark along there I'll probably go back and clean that out again I'm not going to do it on this demo it'll just take too long to come in here and just do that but the same exact technique I'll just paint on the black and just edge it up against the edge of the mountains on there and just make sure that the edge of my mat is real clean Okay, so we have the image, we have the sky, we've removed the person down there. Now, let's just see how we're going. Okay, it looks good. Notice how the ground actually looks richer when the sky is richer, just a, a visual effect. There it is. Let's now see what we can do to increase the look of this layer down here. I'm going to bring in a layer adjustment layer here, layer and new adjustment layer. Let's do levels, choose OK. Now I want to have this only applying to this one layer. So come down here, click on that little arrow right there. Little bottom corner, little thing. Notice how this is now jumped over and looks like this little arrow pointing down to that layer. Now whatever I do here is only going to be applied to that layer. So let's just look at this. If I bring the black side up, that's going to darken down the blacks. I don't want to go too far, but just a little bit will add a little bit of richness in there. Go too far, this stuff gets too dark. But just, just a little bit. You can kind of see where the all the darks are right in there in the, in the picture. What this does is it takes blacks and moves the blacks further into the gray, making your, your dark grays actually black. The mid-tone value is controlled here. So I can bring my mid-tones up a little bit and then bring my darks back down a little bit like that and by doing that I can bring back in some more detail into the image and still keep some contrast in there so we're beginning to see some detail now down in here which is real nice it adds a bit to the quality of the image okay looks pretty good this is the white side. I can I can lighten the whites up a bit. And the reason why the sky is going lighter when I do this as well is because, of course, we have sky on this layer. This sky is interacting with this sky. So if I lighten this layer, that also goes lighter. So just keep that in mind that we're actually working on both. Okay, that looks pretty good. Close that down. So we've kind of kind of cleaned up now and added a lot of interest to this image very, very quickly with just some real fast touches. Let's now see how this looks compared to the original. Again, I would go back in and it's kind of like that dark edge along the hills. I would go back in and adjust that mat right there, edging up that black right up against the hills to have a real clean edge. I'll probably do that as soon as I finish this video. Actually, just go ahead and clean that up. But let's take a look at this picture now and see how it looks to the original, which I have up here. Recent files, and it's right there. So there we go. There's the original. It's okay. Not a, you know, it's, it's a nice shot, but with that person standing in the middle, it kind of ruins the picture, unless that's what you want as that person. Or if you're doing, doing one of those, you know, attitude style photographs. In any case, there's the original, and then here's our improved version with that person removed from the picture using that content-aware tool. 
easy to do as you saw. This took us just a few minutes. Okay, so there you go. That's how to remove a person from a picture using Photoshop Elements. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop Photography Project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.